Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hype. That's H Y M P E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Appreciate you hitting the button. Welcome to the Hot Hustle Podcast with Hank. This is episode 130. Man, 130. We're getting a little up there now, ain't we? Uh, <laughs> follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I am Hank. That's H Y M P E. It's Hank. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. Special guest in the building. Reintroduce yourself to the audience here. Uh, my man, my man, my name is Mr. Know It All. Um, your favorite podcaster's favorite podcaster, even if you didn't know that he podcasted. And some people call me podcasting the multimedia's lovable smart ass, but you know that's a little sidebar name that I, I I like to rock with myself. Copy lovable smart ass is in the building, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you know. again, like I told y'all last week. Shouts out to Wallow and Podcon. This is somebody else that yeah. I met at Podcon. This episode will Absolutely. be strictly about Podcon. Uh, what did you get from Podcon? What did you hear? What did you like? What did you not like? Break all mm-hmm. of that for me. Talk to me about PodCon this week on the How to Hustle Podcast with Hype. I think PodCon was a really, uh, uh, it was an interesting situation, man. I think that um, it being free kind of blew my mind from the rip. Uh, I don't know about you, but I was really, really surprised um, with just the, because uh, I, I really, really thought it was kind of like a sham at first. I was like, all right, so while I was announcing this and what, I said, what is he going to do to try to put it together? But then you remember the money that they can put behind it in order to make things happen. So I said to myself, I'm like, all right, let me give it a shot. You know, I mean, actually one of my kids that I actually, I actually do a, um, a podcast in class for a nonprofit, uh, shout out to Dimples for Days, you know what I mean? In West Philly. I was about to say, and, throw that um, out there now. Let's not go, whoa, whoa. Let's not gloss yeah, yeah. right over. Let's not gloss no, no. right over yeah, that. We, you know what no, we definitely, definitely not going to gloss over that. Fully throw that man. out there for the audience, you know what I'm saying? Let's not gloss yeah. over that one. Yeah, so no, no. Dimples for Days is a uh, is a nonprofit that I'm a part of. Um, that operates out of West Philly off of uh, 35th and Haverford. Um, they got really, really good like after school programs, um, things to keep the kids engaged. Um, and you know, I mean, most of the time they, they're working with a full house. Um, shout out to Angie. Um, she's the coordinator of it. Uh, it, it, the CEO of, of the entire situation is actually her daughter who, um, I don't know if you like heard from the news probably it's about, about two years ago now, maybe two, two and a half years ago, her daughter actually won a Bill Gates scholarship. Um, and as we know, the Bill Gates scholarship is to where he was dishing out, you know, over two, three million dollars. To, to a few different um, you know recipients for the scholarship and uh, the big thing was you know she's 4.0 student you know straight A's all the way across the board um, you know she was just a, the the just the, the the quintessential honest student she was everything and her big thing was she had a pick of the litter she could have went anywhere she wanted to Great schools and SATs and all that. So everybody's like, all right, you see, I guess you're going to Harvard. I guess you're going to Yale. I guess you're going to Princeton. And, you know, she flipped script and decided to go to Howard. And it was a, you know, I mean, it was a great move, man. She kind of turned everything on his ear by doing that. So shout out to Kayla for, for making that move. She's kind of like my niece. So, um, yeah, so she she did did a thing and they decided to start up a nonprofit to kind of give hope to others in the community. Um, that this is possible. And they just do, you know, just do a lot of things, you know, in the community. She asked me to come aboard and say, listen, come on, start, you know, teaching these kids what you know about podcasting. So every Thursday, for those that are signed up with different days, you know, this podcasting class is free. You know, I mean, we got top of the line equipment and we have access to Drexel's um, uh, uh, recording studio um, that's actually right across the street. So it's, you know, it's a good look. Um, but you got to be with Dimples Today's in order to make it happen. So, yeah, shout out to Dimples Today's. I, I'm, I'm glad you let me uh, shout them out because that's, no, that's, you know, that's, that's that. family right there. I tell yeah, you all the time, if you're doing anything positive in the city, then let's shine a light on that. I love all, I to hear about absolutely. all of that. We might have to get her on mm-hmm. so we can talk a little bit more about that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I that's a good look. Yeah, any, yeah. Anything that we're doing to make this shit better, let's yeah. shine a light on it. If I could use my platform to help shine a light on whatever it is, then let's do that. So shouts out to them. I like that. Nice. I like I like that. Let's yeah, go. so let's you know what I'm saying salute to them for doing that. Now you gotta let them know anybody that we shout out on the How to Hustle podcast when hype, we tell them when you send them the episode, you let them know hype only accepts five stars, not four. 
Now, uh, PodCon, go back to what you were saying about you said PodCon oh, yeah. was free. That was what threw you off. Yeah, yeah, it kind of threw me off and whatnot. But I, I, you know, I had a lot of questions. I mean, you were just li- listening to an episode before you even started recording. You were telling me you were listening to the episode uh, before the last one, episode 170, the Mr. Know It All podcast. Shout out to me and what we do over there and whatnot. It's all where can, love. Where can, we find, where can we find the Mr. Know It All podcast? Ah, so you can find the Mr. Know It All podcast podcast on all the major streaming platforms so we're talking spotify we're talking apple podcast we're talking amazon music we're talking um stitcher i don't know if stitcher is still a thing but i believe that it is stitcher um and any subsidiary uh audio experience that you can get off of that but the big the big thing is that we are now rounding out perfecting the craft of what we're doing on youtube um it's a lot of production that goes into what we do you know, on YouTube, on the 4K side, on the editing side, um, as far as the audio and video. So that's the big deal. Um, and we operate out of uh, the place that, I, that you see me in now. Well, now it's a little bit in the background of the, the fireplace on the TV. It's kind of a little bit of flex, but this is um, my company here. This is called The Hive. And uh, yeah, we operate, me and my partner, Keith Burroughs, we operate out of The Hive. Um, yes, it has a podcast as well. The... Um, uh, what's your grind podcast where you know he does things you know kind of like what you're doing right now but he does it on a higher tier where he sits down and he says he wants to interview people and get all in their face and say listen i want to know what your grind is about that you know what i'm saying like what do you do for your business so it's just you know, we go, it's one of those things. i got you we're gonna get there we're gonna get there yeah we're gonna get there yeah it's, it's a lot yeah, man i'm we, rapping a lot. Go ahead, go ahead. we call that a tease in the business man <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yes yes we do yes we do now go ahead and talk to me about the podcast right. situation now. So the pot, so um, you know, so we take it from that, right? So besides all that, you know, I mean, I'm on board, I'm excited, I'm ready to get down there because I'm intrigued. And the one thing I'm intrigued about the most is to see exactly, I want to see the upstarts. I want to see the people that are looking to get into the podcast, but I also want to see what type of crowd is around this thing. So we get there and we're standing in line. And I start to kind of get the vibe. I get a little bit, I get two different types of vibes. I get the, all right, I want to start a podcast, but I want to move into, you know what I mean? A different space. I want to get some good knowledge from some people. And then you got to get the the quiet to themselves as if that they're looking at everybody. It was like, all right, it's a little bit of competition here. You know what I mean? When it comes down to it. So I was like, uh, I kind of, you know what I mean? And I'm just, you know, being polite about it, passing out cards and, you know, kind of talking to people, just rapping with people, trying to get get the flow of of conversation going between us. Because, you know, I like, like anytime there is any type of competition presented in anybody's direction, it, for some reason, it seems to build some sort of animosity. You 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 feel that a little bit because it's kind of, unfortunately, the city of Philly, if you've been here long enough, you kind of get that in anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a former rapper, so I already know. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and, and it's, I it's, mean, yeah, you, you no, thought, I, when you told me how old you was, everybody was a former rapper back in those days. The DVD era got everybody to dog, put a quick 16 yes. together. Uh-huh. You ain't never lied. <laughs> you ain't never lied. That was the name of the game, bro. That was the name hey. of the game. I was so, I was so bad. I was like, I, I went to Overbrook. I was, I was like the Overbrook smack. All I was doing was running around with a video camera my entire senior year filming cycles. That was kind of the name of the game. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, we. So, uh, yeah, industry shots out the industry uh, Tuesdays and every Sunday down the flow. We won what? the contest. Oh my god! We won the contest down there to open up for uh, Banks when Hungry for More first came out and all that. Ooh, it was us, Joey Jahad, yeah. and mm-hmm. somebody else won the joint. But Joey Jahad left, so you know what I'm saying we ended up getting the open. Like I said, yeah, if you from that era, then yeah, everybody rap. Yeah, <laughs> everybody, every, everybody, everybody had, a 16. Rap, everybody yeah, had at least a sixteen. <laughs> everybody, everybody, you had to, you had to have something. Written, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That was the name of the game. That was the name of the game. But um, yeah. So I mean, as so, we hold, enter, hold up, so, let me let, yeah. let me jump in right quick because what go you're ahead, saying about the what you're saying about the line situation. So first of all, it's right. cold as shit standing in this line. It's not a summer day. It's not as it's not a nice winter day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not, yeah, so niggas mm-hmm. is already on. First of all, it's is 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 here. So everybody's already on go. Right. <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm right. realizing that we had a networking event and it's all love right now because it's cold as shit. <laughs> then you spin the co- then you spin the corner and it's colder. So yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Got, you in this line, you in that line. They start fucking up that whole situation. Yeah, so absolutely. funny shit is niggas that's right in front of me in the line is niggas I send the podcast every week. Never even peeped that it was them because it was just too fucking cold. 
Mm, mm, <laughs> Once mm, I leave mm. and I see, damn, this nigga posted this shit. Hold up, this jacket looks familiar. This was the nigga standing right in front of me. Right, right, um, right, 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 right. <laughs> you got in there and then it was like, all right. No, no, no. Don't, look- wait. don't skip over. Don't skip over. The no, you go ahead. Stuff. Don't skip over the entrance because that's important. The mm-hmm. entrance thing. All right. So we get to the front. Now, I don't know if you experienced what I experienced, but the situation, it became a, uh, a log jam, a fuckery just yeah. for, for like for like 20 minutes. So it was like we stand in line. Everything was going cool because it was one line at first. Then the, the lady said, go over to the other side. This is the other one's called. So we shoot over there. We get there. And then the lady's like, oh, no, I don't have a scanner over here. You got to go back to that line. So then we go back over to that line. And there's a whole bunch of people crowded around. So now it's like, oh, what the hell is going on? And then, you know, people are trying to like squeeze back into line and whatnot. To me, the one thing that I could say that that's the only logistical qualm of the whole of the whole night. Like, like logistically, everything else kind of flowed. There was nothing too reckless or too out of control. People wasn't bumping into each other or anything like that. But that was the portion of it that was like, oh, damn, I hope that this isn't a reflection of the rest of the evening. You know what I mean? Which it wasn't. So... Shout out to them for kind of getting that in order. But uh, next year, I guess they'll know to kind of, you know what I mean, get some more scans at the door. I don't know if you experienced that, though. No, nah, so I let the first group of niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, everybody's looking and observing <laughs> what's going on. I let that first group of niggas go over there and get told y'all was in the wrong line. I was standing right there going, okay, copy. They told these dickheads come back this way now. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad I stood right here because it's cold as shit. Again, once you spent the corner, the wind shift was crazy. Um, right, right. So now, this is what I want to get into. Cause let okay. Me, let me give it to you from my perspective. Gotcha. Uh, like I said, once again, shout out to Wallow and all the people who put PodCon together. Uh, shout out to I, mm-hmm. I did a seminar, How to Hustle Seminars, which can still be purchased. Five different sessions of How to Hustle Seminars. I'm saying those are available right now for purchase. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm saying <laughs> how yeah. you make money off your situation, marketing and promotion, relationship building. I did a Q&A and... I forgot what the other one was. Damn, I should have knew that. But um, 90% of the stuff that they talk about, I talked about on my seminar. And excuse me, hold up. My bad, hit the cough button. Yeah, um, I got you. I got you. 90% of the shit that I talked about, that they talked about, I talked about on my seminar. Because a lot of this shit, like, yeah. I've, I've been doing this for long enough that a lot of this stuff is just like, if you knew what you know now, then you would be so much better. Which is why I always be like, Absolutely. I'm, willing to, I'm willing to help anybody because I know when we first started screaming at each other in the basement, it was like, I wish somebody would have been there just to say, if you format it like this, if you talk about it like that, if you break it down, if you just listen and pay attention to what's going on in the room and stop right, just trying right. to get your points across. Mm-hmm. So whenever you put me in them situations, I wasn't even really there. Like, I ain't know about, yeah, you go to this bank and it'll help with this loan and then this one goes to this credit score, you know, copy, you ain't gonna know all that. Right, my whole right, situation right. was when I met you into the situation and now we in the hallway and it's network time. My right, whole right. point is this is the mission statement of my podcast. Why my mm-hmm. shit is called How to Hustle is my whole joint is How to Hustle Enterprise. That's okay. Custom Hustle, okay. my clothing line, that's H2H Cleaning, and that's the How to Hustle podcast. How to Hustle live shows, how to hustle seminars, everything. Everything's a hustle. Is my shit. Because How to Hustle is all about the different relationships and shit that you can cultivate, people's drive, determination, and who people who really give a fuck about things, regardless mm. to what it is that we're talking about. That is the entire mission statement of my joint. So if you put mm. me, I always tell motherfuckers, just show me where the block is at. I don't need you to put me in a room. Mm. You show me where the block is at, and I'll make it happen. Right, so right, right. as sure as I see, okay, we got two niggas over here with marketing on they shit. It's my whole joint. You see me? I'm the walking billboard. Everything I got on, I own. Like, right. So I see, oh, damn, what's Absolutely. talking to me about these hoodies? Just something right, that, right. what you know, niggas from here be too cool to just say shit, to niggas. Can't tell a nigga you like his right. hoodies, jacket, he stinks, nah, and this nigga Joe is shit. Like, yeah, nah, we ain't on them vibes. Like, we're Absolutely. trying to build the situation. Absolutely. Nah, you're right. Glad these situations. And right, that was right. my whole purpose of going. And it was like, it's, mm, I don't know, a couple hundred motherfuckers in this room. I need to get at least 30 of these niggas. If I can leave out of here with at least 30 yeah. of these niggas. I'm good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That was yeah, yeah, and I, and, and I absolutely I agree with you wholeheartedly with everything you're talking about because to me, like you said before, when when I when I sat up there when I, like when you've been a part of this for so long, the ins and outs kind of define themselves. So you get in the room and they start telling you things about you know 
things that you kind of already know. And um, I mean, as far as like, you know, it was good hearing a story for, um, from says from uh, uh, the Caucasian lady. Well, I forget her name, but she the was one uh, the book copy. Yeah. The one, right. So, so she was, um, her story was a good one. And then, uh, you know, learning about the situation that happened with the shade room, but these are personal stories. But when we start talking about anything as far as, um, uh, um, just regular day to day <coughs> things that you have to do in order to move forward with podcasting, it was kind of, I'm not going to say that it was completely redundant. What I'm going to say is that there are, there are quite a few things though, that when you start to analyze it, you can tell that, um, the, the quote unquote experts won't go over the top with. So like, like I'd say like the vice president guy, YouTube, uh, uh, What's his name? Leo Cohen's right hand man. That guy, the, uh, his situation, I can kind of even even said it at one point. It was some things that he could not divulge when he started talking he at, about. He was asking him about what was the bread that Shannon made off of that episode. Yeah, exactly. He's saying like I can't exactly. divulge that, which like stuff like that. Like you said, you won't, I mean, the long and short of the game is it only takes one clip to pop. And yeah, absolutely. There's absolutely. no way, like Wallow was saying, yo, we get to deal with the funeral home, and the, the girls say, yo, we never had this many bodies. Stop advertising our shit on your joint, like because you did right. such a great job. There's absolutely. no way for me. To, there's no way for me to put you on how to get that happen. It just happens or it doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Right. Exactly. <laughs> so exactly. Exactly. The whole thing that people have to be in there to take advantage of is us, like us both being there, us all being right. here. You hitting these niggas is from Baltimore. He was probably never gonna meet these niggas. He exactly. was probably never gonna meet this chick from Atlanta. These niggas from right. LA or wherever yeah. everybody's from. That's yeah. the real you know, the situation is you got the ability to be able to pull all these people in this room from everywhere, and then you gotta take advantage of it. That's what at least mm -hmm. you know what I got out of it. I didn't think I always try not to be you the smartest nigga in the room and you know everything, and you can't never learn nothing from nobody. Because if you go through life like that, you're gonna fuck up your own situation. And the old saying is that it, the old saying is that if you're the smartest nigga in the room, you're in the wrong room. No, you get out the building. You you leave the building. Yeah. Get across town. <laughs> exactly. You're, exactly. you're in the wrong. You're in the wrong right. part of town. Yeah. If you're right. always the smartest right. nigga, you're in the wrong part of town. You need to move out yeah. of the city or something. But right, right. It was a uh, it was a beautiful thing to see. Yeah. Because especially here, the way our city works, trying to get mm -hmm. things collectively to come do something positive is hard. Or impossible. Yeah. And, um, no, absolutely. That was absolutely. That was a a beautiful turnout. Uh, and like I said, it was a great networking situation. If you was there to take advantage of it, because I ain't know nothing about that shit. Somebody tagged me into it and was like, "Yo, you going to this joint? I am now." <laughs> yeah, yep, yep, yep. No, absolutely, man. And it was it, it was the correct the correct drivers of the bus too. Like 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 Wallow um in Gilly. I, I think that especially for the city. Now, if you ask me about anywhere else, not so much, but because it's Philly, you know, what I mean, it, it's a definitely um, it was definitely a good look for them to be the one to helm this. Like, it's just it, it, it lent itself to like, all right, hometown cast is just, you know, be around the hood. They, they you know, what I mean, it's it in, and, and at the end of the day, they are really, really like kind of the heartbeat of what goes on with this. Now, it's actually good to know that they're able to, or even, you know I mean? Wallow per se, it puts himself in a position to say, Hey, listen, this is what I don't know. This is what I do know. I'm going to try to put you on to some people that, you know what I mean? May know more than me or can kind of lead y'all into the right direction. But the one thing that now, and another thing that I want to discuss, and I don't even know if you want to go into this part or whatnot was that ending sequence. So every movie got to end. Every show got to end. Every, whether it's drama, whether it's comedy, whether it's education, it's all got to end. So we start talking about it at the end. So on the stage, Charlemagne is Wallow, and it's um, the vice president of Black Effect. I don't, I can't remember her name right now. So we there. Now this is this is the defining factor for me. Sixty percent of the crowd begin to leave, go outside in the lobby and in the front, and begin to network. 40% of them ran up to the stage and while maybe 20% of those people were genuine with the question asking and really wanted more knowledge, you still had the groupie effect. That's, that's one of those things where is that you see it and you like, 
I don't care about nothing else. I just want to get on Black Effect. And it's like, you got to understand that this is... One thing that I'm going to say is that, man, uh, we talked about rap earlier. Podcasting is now becoming hip-hop. Podcasting so, is become, become, to me, it's becoming so much like hip-hop that it's scary. When he gets to the part it. where he say... Mm. Go, yeah, ahead. go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. You get, to the part, to get to the part where you say anybody got a question. Everybody got questions, but, um, right. you know, who has some real shit that they going to ask? Now everybody rushes the stage. So yeah. when I see everybody's rushing the stage, I'm not even, I'm not moving. I'm not, <laughs> not my lane. Right. I don't want to be in the mm. crowd of hands waving. I'm not that bull. Um, you right. gonna come find me if you want me, and right. I know me standing here in the crowd saying, "How I get on the Black Effect?" Ain't gonna get you on the Black Effect. You being able to do good content, you doing good numbers, you having a good clean look, sound, and all of that is how you get on there. They'll find Absolutely. you if, if they want to get you on. You standing in Absolutely. the crowd screaming and asking, and it's not happening. So yeah. it's a waste of time to me. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. what I saw yeah. there. Even now, mm -hmm. going out, let's take a thousand pictures. That's that's a shortcoming for me because I'm not the take. A, I'm from the era of do and not be seen. Right, this is right, the era right. of see everything that I have and am doing because you ain't gonna believe it happened if I don't show you. That's my very whole true. thing is I'm here. I know I don't need to prove to you that I was here because I know I was that's here. True. I got the connections right. and the relationships, and my name travels well. So yeah, yeah. You know the nigga asks you about, oh yeah, you seen the boy Hype? Oh no, he was down there. He was doing the thing. You talking about cousin had this, that, or whatever on like. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be live and telling you and showing you that I was there. I gotta took one picture because my man was like, "Hey, bro, let's take a couple of flicks right here." Uh, all right, come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, but, um, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, like once you get to that point in the night, I'm like, "All right, this is the thing." Then jump the shark now. <laughs> like, yeah, but see, but you know what's funny? Because it's funny that you like, and I said, and I think that you you kind of understand what I'm saying with that and whatnot. The reason why I said I made the comparison to hip hop because. It becomes a thing now into which that people want to stand out so much amongst who they think in this lane are successful. Yeah, what is so the now, shit that I can say? Yeah. It, <laughs> what, what, right, what's the most outlandish shit that I can say? What can I do? Who can I backflip over? You know what I'm saying? What can I, what can I, how can I make myself noticeable stand to them out. to say? Yeah, no, because that doesn't right, take, that don't right. take no talent. Yeah, there's no talent in that. Exactly. There's, no, ta there's exactly. no talent in being the one with the loud voice that says the goofy shit. You just become the person exactly. that everybody knows to come to for the goofy shit. I ain't that boy. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, and that's, that's what's too. It's funny to me, though, that people still think that, that people that are in positions of power actually fall for this. And if, now here's the funny thing. That's the reason why I say it's kind of like hip-hop, because nowadays they people think, even because the, the, the talentless people are getting on now. So they bring all that extra to the table or whatnot, not knowing that they're not looking at you for longevity or for your future, at, you know, aspirations. They looking at you to say, okay, this nigga look like the type of nigga that be with the other niggas. So therefore, we're going to bring him out, let him do some nigga shit, and hopefully it's going to bring attention to what we got as a label so we can push it out and make money off of it. But the yeah, whole yeah, thing is the difference. Your ends up with nothing at the end of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the difference with that, but true. So, the, but the difference with that now with hip, what we, I'm sorry, with podcasting is the fact that it's such. It's still a new genre. So what happens is that any, any and everybody feels like they can do it. So therefore, they feel like what they bring to the table is notable because just because it's me. So therefore, I, it's me. I'm me. I'm thorough. I'm in who I am and whatnot. Is somebody needs to. To, to take hold of me, take me under their wing and put me out there because this is the best move. You know what I'm saying? Make your next move the best move and it's me. But it's like, but what have you done in order to curate this entire feeling that you that you pushing forth to these people? Like, what do you what, what have you done? If you if you running in through there and what and I want to get on the Black Effect Network and I want to be this is that third person and you've done six episodes. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got your feet wet yet, baby. You know what I'm this saying? This is why like, I always like, tell like, people like <laughs> I've been doing podcasting for so long that I went through the What's what's a podcast? Um, to mm -hmm. everybody got a podcast. To you mm -hmm. still do a podcast? Y'all, oh guys, how y'all make money off of that, John? Like I've been through all yeah. of those different stages, and everybody thinks that me and my man talk about sports, and everybody gonna want to hear this. Yeah, that's cool. Y'all mm -hmm. got four episodes. What y'all gonna do for episode twelve? Before mm -hmm. I had, before I had the name of my podcast or Instagram page, I had two two radio stations lined up and twenty guests. Because right. that's the kind of 
work that you need to do if you was really serious about this. If you really want to turn this into something. Like Yeah, absolutely absolutely. No, I got these two drones. Me and my man always talk about everybody gonna want to hear this because the secret to this here too in Philly is niggas here ain't gonna support your situation. You gotta focus on everybody but here. Here is gonna catch it once the other niggas catch it, once they see somebody else post the shit and somebody else says something about it. It's the sad part about our mm. like we don't so want to see each ask, other succeed. So let me ask you a question. What do you think about the state of podcast right now as we speak? We did that one like, like five we, weeks ago. We did that episode like five weeks ago. Shouts out to my man sipping with Sam. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I think I think we get in the TikTok effect of the podcast, just like you said it. it. It's the what can I say? What can I do? What is the quick thing that's going to latch on to people? People don't really even mm -hmm. like the long form situations. Like I told you, I started doing this shit. It was two hours. That's why I'm cut down to a half hour, 35 minutes podcast yeah. drive through. We're going to get you in and out because I know niggas is short attention span. Niggas ain't really trying to pay attention. People don't. If you don't catch them in the first two, three seconds, then they've already moved on from you. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why TikToks and Rails are so important with promotional sides that, of it. Yeah. And that's a bad thing for people mm. don't even people ain't gonna know have, have a long form conversation in the future. Uh -oh. and, yeah, but you no, no, and I absolutely agree with you with that because I feel like here's the here's the issue, right? Um, and like I said, and, and I hate to rehash something that you already spoke about with your people. You still there? I'm here, you'll be good. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. Because I thought something. Oh, all right, somebody clicked on it. But can you, you can still see me, right? Yes, you can. Technical difficulties. Nobody oh, okay. hears that on audio. Keep talking, baby. <laughs> 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 episode one twenty four. That no. was man, me and Sam. Episode one twenty four. What's next for podcasting? Developing oh, okay. all streaming platforms. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so essentially, what I mean, what what it was all, what it's all about, especially in my mind, is the first thing that I'm thinking about is like everybody think you plan. I, I mean, I think that that's that's really what it what it lends itself to. It's like everybody to me, I feel like everybody believes that you are that that this this art it ain't serious until it's serious. And that's kind of the thing for me that I say to myself, I'm like, yo, like like I don't know, like even when, when you said people say, Oh, you still do a podcast? Well, how what is the podcast? And how I've gotten all those questions as well. And I mm -hmm. think that after after a while. Even your feelings about it get put on a back burner a little bit. It's like, yo, like, what are you thinking? What are you thinking that I'm doing? Like, you, we devoting this time, you know what I'm saying, to all of this. We're putting ourselves in these positions in order to try to make things happen. But people think you're playing. The reason why is that because I feel like it's not a situation that's, that's completely and utterly taken serious. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's one of the reasons why people are actually, um, people are actually doing things that that just to test the waters you know what i'm saying like they're putting themselves out there to say you know what i'm just gonna go to this pie con i'm gonna go you know figure it out or whatnot i don't really know you know what it is but i do something on ig or i do a little vlog on a regular basis to kind of you know what i mean to kind of put myself out there so i want to you know what i mean i want to be i, I want to be the next guy and so and and cool but I think it's just, I think it's disingenuous for for people to 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 continuously saturate a situation or to put themselves in a position where you want to talk, but you just want to talk talk, and and you don't really have a vast point of view on a lot of things or even an open mindedness to even keep, you know, what I mean, keep yourself at a steady pace. Like you saying, we're doing episode one thirty. That takes dedication, bro. That takes like big time dedication. And this is just episode one. This is episode one thirty on my own. I got another hundred and something episodes when I was doing my old podcast. Um, see, yeah, see, and that's a whole yeah, three so, years of my old joint. Um, right, so right. Before we before we move on to the next segment, this is the the difference in them situations. This was in the this was in the seminar, the How to Hustle seminars. Is treat your podcast like a business. Some people have a business, and some people have a hobby. The same which situation we were just talking about the DVD raps back in those days. Some niggas can yeah. skip this one sixteen that's going to be hot, but they can't make a song. We're not mm. both. In the, we're not both in the music industry. We're not both in the music business. You got a hot right. sixteen. You got like twelve hot episodes, but you don't have a career. Not a career. Can you make out of this? You're not mm. in the business of podcasting. Okay, <laughs> if you're not turning yeah. a profit on anything. If you've right, never right. had a sponsor, you've never sold any merch, you've never done any shows, if you're not right. doing anything to progress the situation or the business of podcasting, then you're just talking, mm. which is perfectly fine. 
Some yeah. of us are just to talk. Everybody can't mm -hmm. be a professional with everything. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. And Correct. That's the difference right there. Some niggas is making songs and some niggas got a 16. And those are the separations in them situations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, um, glad, I'm glad that you have, I'm, I'm glad that you're at the point in which that you have an understanding about that because I think a lot of, a lot of times, even people that, 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 you know, put these platforms on and get in front of these mics and talk, talk this talk or whatnot, they're still lost. They still don't really, really have what it, the thought process that it takes in order to do it. So what happens is it becomes a fly by night thing. You do it for a little bit and whatnot. You don't get to a hundred and some episodes doing anything without some sort of dedication to it. You don't get you know to hundred. Saying? You don't get to a hundred reps and push-ups without having some type of dedication. Without yeah, trying to, you didn't do a hundred times. You went to the gym without actually trying to lose weight. Now, how many people right. say I'm going to go on a diet and they ate two solids today and then the nigga was back with a cheesesteak next week? He's not actively <laughs> right, on his health right. journey. He just Absolutely. ate two solids. There's Absolutely. a huge difference in these situations. Yeah, They're not yeah. focused on them niggas who just got a hot 16. We're looking for mm -hmm. niggas who can make classic tracks because that's what we're looking right. to do over here on the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. Now, we move on to the next segment of the show, sponsored by Custom Hustle. That's at Custom yeah. Hustle World on Instagram. It's Custom Hustle Co. on Twitter. We do custom jackets, custom jerseys. We got football, basketball, baseball, hockey, soccer. However you need them, we can customize them. We got four versions of the sneaks, the CH1s, 2s, and 3s, and the 4s, available in any color that you could put together. Flip-flops, collared shirts, t-shirts, sweatsuits, however you need it. And we got cargo pants, too. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I own the outfit. is not just a hashtag or something that I say. It's some shit that's really real. Um, right, right, now, right. This is the get to know segment. So now, mm -hmm. this is what we, like I told you, I do my homework on the guests. I like to tap into your situation, get to know you a little better. So now, for question okay. one that I got for you. What have you right. done to make Dr. Umar proud? Oh, man. Well, about 17, going on 18 years ago, I, I married a black queen. And I have two black, fair-skinned children. Yeah, I mean, they are fair-skinned, though. My, my kids light-skinned and whatnot. But, but my queen is black. Um, you know, um, 17 to 18 big, years, that's not gloss over that. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, yeah, absolutely. yeah. It's that's not a high school college. senior. I'm saying that's a high yeah, school senior right there. Or <laughs> college freshman for college freshman to be exact. But that's I whole, mean, yeah, my wife was a college, my wife was a college freshman, 17. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so uh yeah, we um so as far as <laughs> Dr. Umar, I love Dr. Oh, Umar, yeah. man. He's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's my man. Um yeah, mm -hmm. I'm really, really, I, I think the big thing the big thing besides that, you know what I'm saying, nobody chasing anything like that. It uh it really, really comes down with me to um, I love the thought process in, in, in at least trying to no matter which way or which form that you do it, trying to be able to, to reach back into the community to be able to help, especially the youth, man. The youth is is it's just so, so important, man, because honestly, it's it's not even like I like I believe the days of the teeter totter are over as far as um the way that the youth is going to go. You know how you know, what I mean, you made a mistake. And then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? Like, like you knew somebody that was in, into the shits when they was young. Girls or guys, either way. And then they got older and they did something to change, whether it took being incarcerated, whether it took, you know what I mean, some bad, you know, uh, a, a, a series of bad events in their life and whatnot that actually put them, you know what I mean, in that, in that state to which they had to make a change. Um, nowadays, bro, it's almost like, because I coach football for a long time too, and I kind of see this or whatnot. I see a lot of my kids um, that I coached. You know, a lot of them. You know, some of them on scholarship. It's almost like it's a it's a complete disconnect. It's like you either made it to the point where it's like you're doing something successful, or I'm hearing something bad about you. And I can't. You know, I'm speaking in generalities. I can't really say that a hundred percent about everybody. But what I can say is that. Uh, the, what I meant by the teeter totter is just the fact that, like, like the correction is there's so much less room for correction for these kids. You know what I'm saying? So, so to me, that that's very, very important. So I respect that. You know, what I mean, that he's opening up school, and you know, and you know, anyway, you know, I mean, some of his is <laughs> some of his uh, views are a little extreme, but I mean, that's all of us. You know, what I'm saying a lot of us have extreme views and one that people that don't might not agree with, but. The one that I can say is that what he's lending himself to, especially, you know, on applied to mental health, 
You know what I'm saying? Especially for our community, that's a big, big, big deal, man. Because we have, you know what I mean? You know, in the way that they're diagnosing us, it's just like, like we really got to feed and dump back more into these kids. And I mean, whether you're your children or not, that, it's just very, very important to to do that. Like, like it, 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 our kids, like it's something means, that's really near and dear to my heart. Our kids doesn't physically mean the two that I have. It means the community for those who people get caught up in that whole situation these days. Um, absolutely, which is sad. absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. All mm-hmm. right, now we won't we won't rapid fire these ones. Let's not you know saying don't think too much about these ones. Okay, these I are got lighthearted you. joints. I got you because you what you said on episode one seventy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jabot jeans say? or guess jeans? Guess, guess, guess jeans. Are you eat feet ghetto or are you sell your stamps ghetto? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm eating on feet now. ghetto. I'm eating feet ghetto. Yeah. Okay, you said seventeen I'm eating feet. years. I eat feet. Yeah, you yeah, said I'm seventeen feet. years, so you done had a toe. I'm, eat, I'm eating feet. The, you know, the, not so much the toes, but the arch. The arch is a good look. You know what I'm saying? Oh, on your shoulders, oh, so, the arch. The so, arch, so, arch, is a vibe. You know what oh, I'm so saying? That's, that's where you like. Okay, you just. Oh yeah, you got to use it. Since you already got nasty, now Hollywood. When you hear Hollywood, what are you thinking? Illuminati. Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> Illuminati. I'm thinking secret societies or whatnot that that lend themselves to people being in positions to stay successful and and at any cost. And if you do not fit the description of whatever's in the club that you need to be in, you are yanked from that. Period. Last one of these. 2010. I throw out 2010. You tell me the first thing you think about and how old was you? 2010. I Boy, was... Carry the one. Carry the one. Pasta come no. on. Come on. <laughs> <Damn>. 2000... <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. 2010, I was 26. Yeah. 20... 26? 27. 27. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I had 100 yeah, math right. when I got 20... out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you're right, you're right. I keep forgetting it's 2014. Don't do it. I, <laughs> 2014 and I'll be 41. Yeah, absolutely right. So I, yeah, so I was 27. Um, First thing you think about 2010. Think about how extremely obese I was at the time. I was 370 pounds in 2010. Oh, damn. So yeah, you liked it with extra cheese, gravy, and a little... Dog, I, it, was, it was vicious, man. I mean, honestly... No, like it, I, I think that that was that was kind of rounding the curve. But what I think probably about three years later is when um I got stuck in a goddamn go kart at Arnold's. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah, and I had to roll my I had to roll myself out of the joint and whatnot. And my man was um my man went to my wife was like, "Yo, I'm worried about him and whatnot." I was like, "Yo, this is out of control." You know what I'm saying? Hey, so three hundred pound angles don't be no joke. The, <laughs> bro, that that thing that, that that thing was different, bro. I, I was yeah, I was hurt. You know I mean? All right, last segment before we close out the show is sponsored by Cus- is sponsored by H2H Cleaning. That is at H2H Cleaning on Instagram only. We do roof and plumbing, flooring, HVAC cleanups, cleanouts. We do remodeling. However you need it, we can make it done. We're hustling everything over here, uh, how to hustle enterprise. But uh, at H2H Cleaning, uh, for all your cleaning, cleanup, or you saying remodeling needs, we can handle all of that situation for you. Oh, you do cleanups and remodels. Oh, yeah, we clean up remodels, roof and plumbing, floor and HVAC, how you need it. We're not handling no septic tanks. You got something in the house on your plumbing situations, <laughs> we can take care of you. Septic I was, tanks, we're I was not just going to mention that. Just going to oh, mention no, that, yeah. man. I got, a, yeah, I, got a, yeah. I got two septic tanks in my house. No, oh, I'm yeah, just, see, bro. that's because you was nah, 370 just, and you were taking yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> the name of the game. No, it was, it was serious, man. You know what I'm saying? And I, 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 I want you to say that my personal affairs. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Which, the last segment is what do we need to know? This is where you tell us all about what it is that we need to know that you got going on. Talk to me about the high of all of that whole situation. Okay, so what you need to know about me is uh, first and foremost, uh, shout out to the Know It All Network. Know It All Network is anything that um, that cir- circulates around and is the family of the uh, Mister Know It All podcast. Um, and so from there. Let's stem out to where I actually do my work for the Mr. Know It All podcast, and that's in the Hive. So that is uh, my podcast studio, which is a blend of 
uh, music studio as well. So we do everything from from podcasts and any type of multimedia you need. We talk voiceovers, audio books, music, everything from bottom to top that you need from there. Um, my partner, uh, we actually, I'm actually partnered up uh, with somebody. We were partnered in this as well. We actually have a, a an aromatherapy business called Mood and Senses. Uh, we do shea butters, uh, curated, curated shea butters, you know, mixed with the essential oils and stuff like that. Give you a good aroma. We do beard serums, hair oils, African black soaps, lufanets, candles, um, all natural. Um, we make them ourselves. Uh, we actually have a facility in the same building as the hive that we take These care are of some of that. the things that would have made Dr. Omar pro. No. I need, you know what? You know what? Yeah, yeah. You know what? But I figured I would stay personal with the Doctor Umar thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel like that's just you know that that don't need to be said. You know what I mean? As far as what you need to do in order to make things happen. Um, I copy that. You know what I mean for that. But um, yeah, as well. Uh, we actually just opened up a new space. Uh, it's actually a rental space. Um, for multimedia. Uh, you can do everything from. Uh, it's called Creatives, and you can do everything from photography there to uh to to podcast there as well but that's more of a situation to which that it's hands off you actually rent the space you know if you're bringing your own crew in there and you want to do something we, we got the facility in order to facilitate that too where's the facility um, at come on give us all of that uh well the facility you got somebody is, listening and they say damn we need the, we needed a facility where's that drain at well, the facility is is actually in North Philly or whatever you would have to contact me and whatnot in order to get the the exact place, whatnot. We'll never, you know, we'll never divulge. Where would they oh, contact okay. you at to get that type oh, okay. of information? This is what Ooh. we need to know. We need to no, know absolutely. So, this whole situation. Absolutely. So what you can do is, uh, if you're interested in services from the Hive, you can actually hit me up. Uh, you can inbox me at Mr. Underscore Know It All Underscore Pod. That's on Instagram. Or you can go to my Gmail account at uh, Mr. Know It All Pod at gmail.com. Um, for mood and senses, you can go, you can actually purchase things on our fully functioning website, uh, at mood and for creatives. You can actually go to pair space and, uh, search for creative. So that's K R E A T I V E Z. you know what I mean? Uh, studios. So you can search that on pair space, bring that up, go ahead, put, book your time, slot your scheduling for that. Um, we also have, um, we have a, a, a kind of a printing business to where is that where it was tapped in to, to a bunch of printers. We can actually get, get your flyers, get your, your cards, print it up and get your, your, your signs and banners. Um, it's called flyers, postcards and more. Um, and uh, what's, what am I missing? Oh, we actually do website development and design. Uh, um you can actually tap in with that um, as far as e-commerce is that as well. It's called premiumecart.com. You can check us out on there as well. So these are like different branches of businesses that we do. Oh, yeah. And also shout out to uh, the other nonprofit that I do services for, Genuine Foundation LTD. Um, that's that's something where we're, we're looking to. That's more base, base grounded where I'm I'm actually one of the people that's helming that in the city. Um in the, you know, we're going to be out of the community feeding people. We're going to put together an expansive podcasting class. Uh, we want to, you know, teach photography. We want to do all this and it's going to be geared towards the youth for that as well. So yeah, man, that's pretty much, you know, all, all of everything, the synopsis of everything that I have going on right now. So it keeps me busy. Copy that. Like I said, if you're doing <laughs> something positive in the city, I love it. And I want to shine a light on it. And let's promote, promote, promote the hell out of all of that. So Absolutely. I appreciate you coming on one, episode My 130 man. of the How to Hustle podcast with Hype. We are out. I am Hype. That's H-Y-M-P-E. It's Hype. It's not Hype. I'm not geeked up. <laughs>